Hi there, this is Jenna with Time to Pet, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the scheduler settings section in the company settings of your account. Your scheduler settings allow you to customize different aspects of the scheduler to change the calendar layout and other options related to scheduling events. First up is the calendar default view. You can adjust the default view of the calendar here. Most smaller companies will set this to week or month, while larger businesses tend to set this to the day view. You can also choose from two different agenda views here as the default options. Next up is the calendar interval. The calendar interval allows you to adjust how much space is shown on your calendar. Setting the interval to a small value will spread out your calendar events and give you more space. Setting the interval to a larger value will make the calendar more condensed and concise. Most companies will set this to 15 or 30 minutes. Next is the calendar start and stop times. This setting controls the first and last hour shown on all calendar views in the dashboard. For example, if you never start a visit before 7 a.m., you might want to start the calendar at 7 a.m. to hide the hours prior. Next is the time selector interval. Adjusting the time selector interval will adjust the time options you can choose from when you are scheduling events. When set to 30 minutes, for example, you can choose times like 2 p.m., 2.30, or 3 p.m. When set to 15 minutes, you can choose times like 2 p.m., 2.15 p.m., 2.30 p.m., or 2.45. Most businesses will set this to be the same as their calendar interval. Next is the scheduling colors. Time to Pet supports three unique ways to color code events on your calendar. Larger businesses tend to set this option to color by staff or color by service, while smaller businesses may decide to set this as color by status. This is the default setting for events, but you can definitely switch between these options when viewing your calendar as well. If setting to color by staff, be sure to give each staff member their own unique color on their profile under the schedule tab. If setting to color by service, be sure to give each service its own unique color by editing the service in your services list. Next is show schedule blocks. It may be helpful to view schedule blocks directly on your calendar. Showing schedule blocks will display the schedule blocks you've created so that you can easily see the same blocks of times that your clients see. Companies that tend to edit and move their events frequently will show schedule blocks. We'll cover schedule blocks in more detail in the client settings and schedule blocks video. Next is warn before move and warn before resize. These options will warn you when events are dragged and drop on your calendar or resized by dragging the event down. This tool is useful if you tend to move events by mistake. Next is the overbooked conflict detection. When enabled, Time to Pet will show you warnings if you have one staff member scheduled for multiple events at the same time. Companies that schedule multiple events at the same time, like a group dog walking company, will often disable this tool. Lastly, in your scheduler settings is first last information. This can be set to show or hide. When set to show, Time to Pet will clearly mark events that are the first and last event on an invoice to your staff members. This is especially important for pet sitting visits so that staff members can see if they are assigned to either the first or last visit in the series and need to do anything special for that day. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at timetopet.com.